Welcome to the North Dakota Veterans Home. You know, we get calls every day saying I never knew about the North Dakota Veterans Home. This is North Dakota's best kept secret. We are on the 90 acre campus of the North Dakota Veterans Home in Lisbon. This campus is beautiful. It's full of trees and flowers and lots of memorials marking veteran service. Back in the 1890s, the city of Lisbon had the opportunity to become either the Valley City State College or the North Dakota Veterans Home. And they chose to be the North Dakota Veterans Home, which they called at that time the Soldier's Home. The first building that was built was in 1893. And then shortly after that, they built a hospital here on the campus. Well, they lived in the hospital up until the 30s. I think they had like about 26 beds. In 1950, they built a, so that we could have 150. There was additional buildings that were built in 1980. They then actually brought a nursing home on. There has been a VA mandate that wanted to look at the household neighborhood concept. Our building is the only building in the country that's built like this. Because of just the nature of, of everything in North Dakota, we decided to actually build it in the pod concept. We have two basic care pods and we have one nursing home pod. The pods themselves hold approximately 50 to 52 residents. We have two pods for basic care named B and C and we have four households within a pod. There are four households in the B pod and four households in the C pod. And the households are anywhere from 10 to 13 people. And every house consists of a living room, dining room, kitchen area, a little office area with a computer and then individualized rooms. Um, every resident here has their own room. This room is home to a resident. When a resident moves in, we want them to feel at home. The staff told me I got too much junk, but I made it home. And that's the thing, you can make it your home. But each house is uniquely different. And I think to me, that's what makes it special and unique. You can be as friendly or as aloof as you want. There will be one house you walk in and they have all their tables pushed together and they all eat together. There's another house where all the tables in the dining room are separate and nobody really eats together. This is the main street of the North Dakota Veterans Home and we have this area. So in, during the winter months, our residents don't necessarily need to go downtown to Lisbon. We have a bank and a library and we have a barber and beauty shop here as well, so a lot of their business can be done inside of the building. This is a beautiful building, but that is not the selling point of this. The selling point comes in, in the staff. You just watch any of them and there's always that smile. Good for you. They care for us. I don't mean you simply taking care of us. They care for us. Is your daughter going to come? Yeah. What you would think about when you look at your own home, what makes your home your home. It's not necessarily the things, it's the people, and it's the feeling. Should we read a, one of the um, stories in the paper today? It was part Wednesday, of that, probably the most night, important part, in charge of besides the residents that live here being the most important, was the staffing. The CNA staff are called resident living specialists, so they're universal workers. RLSs are trained to be CNAs, dietary, so cooks, housekeeping, and activities. And so I would kind of compare the RLS staff to like a mom or a dad in that they do it all. We have a waiting list for our nursing home, um, but not for our basic care. Our basic care, we have openings. Veterans are eligible. Veterans that entered the military in North Dakota or spouses or surviving spouses of veterans, and also veterans that served in a North Dakota regiment. We've had some veterans that have moved here from other states, and as long as they get a 30-day residency in the state of North Dakota, they would be eligible to apply at the Veterans Home. We understand it's a hard process. It's not easy leaving home and downsizing and moving away from family in some cases, so, so we're here as a support system too, as that transition takes place. 
The service organizations of North Dakota, for example, the AMVETS, the Vietnam Veterans of America, the VFW, the Legion, they have been so great in supporting us. They give us money for activities. We have two new rooms that we have been looking forward to for a long time. We have a wood shop and art studio. And the kids come, they make the residence days brighter. They ask them how they are. They say thank you for your service. We're so grateful for the fellow North Dakotans that support the Veterans Home. When they pass the legislation uh, to build the new Veterans Home, what the state and what the legislature did is a true tribute to our veterans. And we are here for them in every way.